It's good to meet you at last, traveler. I've been hearing about you for a long time now. <laughs> I'm your new buddy, Toma. As long as that's okay with you, of course. Hey, how about we go for a nice meal sometime? My treat, of course. Hmm, I feel like there's something I forgot to do. Mm, I tidied the courtyard, put the tea on. Eh, it's probably just my mind playing tricks on me. I really did spend a lot recently. Only ten more are left. <laughs> Still, ten more is better than no more. Uh. Where'd this rain come from? Are you going to be okay? Um, here, I'll lend you my coat. <sighs> you don't want to be out in open country in this kind of weather. You'll get struck by lightning for sure. Don't run on the ice, because if you fall down, I won't help you up. <laughs> Gotta learn somehow. <laughs> Lovely weather we're having. Will you join me for a walk? Morning. If you're free, why not come with me to the market? The vegetables are freshest earlier in the day. On the lunch menu today, we have sakura tempura and tricolor dango. Here, there's some for you, some for Paimon, and I also put some aside for my lady. Oh, and the man of the clan himself. Uh, wait, I forgot someone. There's none for me. Come quick, we gotta get down to the market. They slash the prices on fish around this time of day. Oh, and if you find something that you just can't do without, I'll help you haggle the price down. Okay, good night. You had a busy day today, so you should get some rest too. Don't stay up too late. It was never Ayaka or Ayato's intention to make me the housekeeper. I volunteered. I like this kind of work. Putting everything in order gives me a great sense of achievement. And based on everyone's reactions, yeah, I think I do a pretty good job. For me, housework is about keeping a space clean and tidy so that everyone who lives there has a smile on their face. And now, it looks like I'm responsible for another smile. <laughs> I'll do my best to deliver. Hey, how come you're eating here all alone? Uh, is it okay if I join you? Or did you just want some space? If you hadn't put yourself out there during the vision hunt ceremony and taken on the Raiden Shogun all by yourself, I would have lost my vision and with it all my aspirations. I've been thinking about this a lot, and it seems like there's only one way I could ever properly repay you. I, Toma, give to you my weapon and my loyalty, and I promise to fight for you, no matter what. Those that receive visions should look after them. I certainly don't plan on losing mine. I've gotten to know all kinds of people over the years, and I'd say that Inazumans are more particular about etiquette than Mondstadters. If you make sure you're always polite to people, it's much easier to get things done. I've always wanted to see a Tanuki shapeshifting. They say it could change into all kinds of things, and that it likes to play pranks on passersby. <laughs> it's a creature with a sense of humor, that's for sure. Are you an animal person too? If you are, let me take you to the outskirts sometime. It's great. I just need to give a whistle and all these puppies and kittens will come out of nowhere and start strutting around your ankles clamoring for your affection. <laughs> just imagining it is already brightening my day. Lady Miko? Uh, what about her? <sighs> Every time Miss Kamisato sends me out to deliver messages, my least favorite destination is the Grand Narakami Shrine. Oh, uh, not because Lady Miko scares the bejeebers out of me. It's, uh, respect. Yes, she strikes respect deep into my heart. <laughs> In my homeland of Mondstadt, almost everyone has great reverence for the animal archon Barbados. But people in Inazuma feel a little differently toward the Shogun. How can I put this? They feel love, respect, gratitude, but also fear. Honestly, I don't harbor any resentment toward the Shogun. Yes, she almost took my vision away, but ultimately, that's just because of her unique perspective. Everyone has their own perspective. There's nothing strange about that. The only thing I don't understand is her goal in doing so. What does she imagine eternity really looks like for Inazuma? And why is sacrificing her people's aspirations so necessary to achieve it? I can neither understand nor agree with her approach. <sighs> the 
captain of the crux. A formidable woman indeed. She once promised to take me out onto the open ocean to get a look at the thunderstorm that seals off Inazuma from the outside world. It's a shame that to this day, I've never had the chance to take her up on the offer. As the head of the Kamisato clan, he's in a tough position. With all the political upheaval, he has to contend with public disquiet on one hand, and a bunch of self-serving degenerate public officials on the other. It's best not to dwell on it. All I can do is make sure to look out for him when he's at home. Milady is in all respects a well-rounded person. Erudite, compassionate, well-mannered, and elegant. The one thing she could do better is to speak her mind more. In fact, watch out for this the next time you're talking to her. Sometimes she looks like she's about to say something, but then she holds back. If that happens, keep asking her opinion. See if you can encourage her to open up a little. Of Naganohara Fireworks fame? <laughs> she's so easy to get along with. Super straightforward, just says whatever she thinks. Oh, and Naganohara Fireworks are just incredible. You should take every chance you get to see them in action. Ah, on that note, here, have a coupon. Ah, oh, Sayu. Stubborn Sayu. I've asked her countless times to teach me ninjutsu, but she always refuses. She even goes out of her way to avoid me now. I'm just a student looking for a teacher. Am I really that out of line? <sighs> the Tenryo Commission General. Hmm. Make sure to be extra careful if you have any dealings with her. She has a lot of power in her hands, and she's not very open to persuasion. Smiling and batting your eyelids certainly won't get you anywhere with her. Hmm, word on the street is that he's quite a character. Apparently, he even has yokai heritage. Have you met him? If you two are close, maybe you can introduce me sometime. It's good to make friends from all walks of life, yokai included. <laughs> that guy is a detective for the Tenryo Commission. He seems to have his own way of doing things, not the easiest person to get along with. Also, any situation that involves a detective is probably not one that's going to end well. <laughs> I think I'll keep on giving him a wide berth. Oh? So Jean from the Gunhilder clan is the master of the Knights of Favonius now? She definitely deserves it. She's known all over for her impeccable conduct. Uh, oh. Just the acting Grandmaster? <laughs> well, someone of her standing won't care about titles. You've had a run-in with Eula Lawrence before, huh? <laughs> All I know is that their whole family are about the worst tempered people you could ever meet. You're better off steering clear of them if you can help it. Ah, <sighs> now I'm in a Mondstadt mood again. The memories. Anything I can lend a hand with? If something needs doing around the house, or you're having some interpersonal strife, just say the word. Hmm? A conversation? I see, I see. That's a little different from what I'm used to, but I'm all for it. I'm not from Inazuma originally. I think I've told you that before, right? I took a boat all the way here from Mondstadt, found I liked the place, and was also lucky enough to meet the wonderful Kamisato siblings. So I just ended up staying. I get homesick once in a while, too, so I completely relate to all the international merchants on Rito. I try to look out for them as much as I can. The difference between us is that they see themselves as just passing by and have no intention of trying to integrate here. And because that's how they think, it becomes their reality. The majority of Inazumans will never see them as anything more than outsiders. For some of the more conservatively-minded people in Inazuma, the idea of an outlander working as a retainer for one of the commissions is unthinkable. So there was a time when I was not that welcome here. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I'd have been deported a long time ago without a couple of Kamisatos fighting my corner. I couldn't let the clan down after they'd been so kind to me, so I put in a lot of honest work, and eventually everyone was finally able to accept me. I'm not sure if I should get into this, but uh, hopefully you won't mind. I went through a period where I really just wanted to go home. Mondstadt is my homeland, after all. But I was torn. It wouldn't be easy to leave Inazuma behind, either. I mean, just look how good the people here have been to me. The Kamisato clan always has a room for me. 
and there are people I've met here that are like family. So I went back and forth over it and ultimately decided I'd stay in Inazuma. When I'm missing Mondstadt, I can just chat with you. <laughs> you don't mind my rambling, do you? I've been really getting into stories about the unnatural recently, especially ones about shape-shifting yokai. They're so fascinating. Before that, I was really into ninjutsu for a while. And before that... Hmm? Huh? You think I'm not dedicated enough? N no it's not like that. You got me all wrong. <sighs> I'm in a real pickle here. The chief is hosting a banquet for his friends tonight, and he says he wants me to splurge a little by cooking some butter crab. The only problem is that for the last two days, I haven't been able to buy crab anywhere. <sighs> so, what? Am I gonna have to dive into the ocean and grab them myself? Without a doubt, my favorite food is rice cake soup. I like cooking up a big delicious potful for everyone to share. It's a recipe for a good time. As far as food is concerned, I'm fine with anything. If we're counting beverages, though... I'm not very good with alcohol. Yeah, <laughs> don't laugh. And before you say it, yes, I've wondered what this says about my identity as a monstatter. But, you know, too much alcohol is bad for you anyway. So not drinking is a good thing. Uh, quick, come with me. I remembered it's your birthday, obviously, so I thought I'd throw you a proper party. There's food, there's drinks, and I invited a whole bunch of your friends too. <laughs> Hey, this is your birthday we're talking about. I wasn't about to let you spend it all alone. Really? This will make me stronger? You better not be kidding. I have stacks of laundry to do. <sighs> it feels like a fire inside of me has just begun to burn. <sighs> I have all of this power, but how should I use it? I need to give this one some serious thought. Thank you for placing your trust in me. Your kindness warms my heart more than the brightest flame ever could. <laughs> but not to worry. I figured out what I want to do now. My strength is your shield, and I will always be here to protect you. <laughs>